Hi, I'm Dr. Pooja Shah Talera and today I'm going to share my approach to skin health. So whether you're a teenager watching this or someone in your 50s, whether your skin has active issues or just needs some maintenance, whether you prefer DIYs, home massages and maybe grandma's wisdom or uh, you favor more clinical treatments and performance skincare, are you someone who's willing to embrace your scars and wrinkles or prefer a more refined top model look? Whatever your preference and uh, maybe it's a hybrid model, you need to have a roadmap for your skin health planned out. You can do that either by consulting a product expert or an aesthetician or a dermatologist and definitely by educating yourself. So I approach this topic as a Maslow's hierarchy of skin health, which means you get your basics right to have a solid skincare routine down to pat. Then you build on that with clinical facials. Then we move on to aesthetic and clinical treatments. And lastly, you enter the world of injectables and plastic surgery. So let's start with your skincare routine. Have a solid skincare routine going for yourself down to pat that you can do almost every day an am and a pm routine which is custom built for you your skin type your needs your goals you don't have to follow the latest trends or brands or have a hundred steps but be sure to incorporate a gentle cleanser and a sunscreen in your routine to begin with and then you can build on from there with toners essence serums, moisturizers, masks that are for your needs that can contain a balance of active and bland products. So you can choose between antioxidants, acids, peptides, humectants, ceramides, retinoids, anti-inflammatory products, masks and what have you. You can of course combine some DIYs which work with your routine but you need to have the right knowledge on how to combine them. More importantly, this is also where you can incorporate technical massages like the Tanaka massage, which help in drain your lymphatics and relax your muscles as well, as well as tools like the Gua Sha and at-home LED therapy, which help in facial rejuvenation. So the next step is clinical facials, what we call super facials at COSA. Consider facials that focus on clinical beauty that are result driven, so rooted in spa practices, but designed with the latest clinical tech. Our approach is anchored in combining clinical facials with the power of touch. So we integrate innovative technology, professional skincare, traditional therapy, and our main focus is to deliver nutrition to the skin. So we have a repertoire of technologies available and that's what you should seek out for as well. There is microderm abrasion, high frequency, microneedling, LED therapy, microcurrent, radio frequency, 3D printed hyaluronic acid, sonophoresis, as well as dermal boosters. Create an annual plan for yourself to restore youthfulness and then consider the facials to be a long-term investment instead of an ad hoc treatment. Of course, there would be times when you would need the more red carpet, instant glow kind of treatments, but these are sort of partnership with your long-term annual maintenance plan. Then we have the clinical and aesthetic treatments. So these are your heavy duty, more clinically focused machines that are more corrective and preventive in nature. You have the lasers like Q-Switch and Pico for pigmentation, fractional CO2 for scars, IPL for facial rejuvenation, energy-based devices like radio frequency and high-intensity focus ultrasound for really deep anti-aging. These are fantastic additions to your skin health plan if the first two steps are not giving you the results that you desire but consider them as an add-on treatment and not your mainstay because let me give you an analogy why a child needs to crawl before he or she can run so if you start out by doing these mainstay treatments without a base treatment and a base plan you might not get long-term results 
and we have the last step which is injectables and plastics so although some superficials and machines can be slightly invasive in nature they're mostly limited to the superficial layers of the skin and are not invasive in terms of injections so in this category you are thinking of procedures like botox fillers invasive dermal boosters vampire facials threads and lastly plastic surgery if you really need it now let me share some examples when this might be useful looking at botox if you've done the entire round of being mindful with your expressions home massages great skin care some treatments and you still have those number 11 lines those frown lines then maybe botox is a good option for you if you just want a more softer looking face now if you've had volume loss because of aging or weight loss or you need some anchoring in your skin then we're looking at fillers which help to volumize as well as lift and this can be combined with say threads and lastly my favorite which is vampire facial i love this as a comprehensive facial rejuvenation treatment because it takes your body's own plasma and is it's as natural as it can be. So this is my approach to the Maslow's hierarchy of skin health and this is the first of the many that's going to come in skin, beauty and wellness. So stay tuned in.